The Atom does one thing very, very well. It's, it's not a great car for doing the family shop at Tesco's. We, we just wanted to make a very lightweight, fast and fun sports car. Somewhere in Somerset is a shed. To some, it's just a small building in the arse end of nowhere. But those that know what it is, it's much, much more special. The atom consists of four constituent parts. Plastic, carbon fibre, scaffolding and a giant engine. And it's very light, which means it is ballistically fast. Back in the day, Colin Chapman, who owned Lotus, coined one of the most repeated phrases in automotive history. Just add lightness. What he meant is you can have any type of car, but it needs to be light in order to handle well and go like stink. With the Atom, Aerials followed his advice rather closely. We looked at all sorts of iterations of, of cars. We looked at three-wheelers, five-wheelers, six-wheelers, one-seaters, two-seaters, three-seaters, wheel at the front, wheel at the back and two at the side. Funnily enough, it's not as out there as some of the designs we had when we started doing it. Roads are getting more regulated, speeds are coming down all the time, more cameras, so more and more people are going to the track and finding out what good fun it is. And the Atom is you know, the best car for doing that because it's, it's designed to work really well on the track and also be really good fun on the road. The Atom is certainly blisteringly quick in all of its guises and it brings British sports cars kicking and screaming into the 21st century. It's not a racing car, which is impossible to use on the road, and it's not a road car, which doesn't work very well on the track, so it's the perfect balance between the two. Thank you.